in this video i will talk about flash ssd so and i will try to cover all the important parts of flash ssd so first of all let's talk about uh, the basic uh, three types of flash ssd so there are three types of flash ssd uh, the first one is single level cell the second one is multi level cell and the third one is triple level cell so the first single level cell what does it mean uh, and the ssd is generally created by transistor so lots of transistor uh, acquired together or added together and we can make a full ssd so single level cell is something like that one transistor can hold one bit bit means uh, value let's say zero or one multi-level cell uh, cell is basically a transistor so we can say multi-level transistor so which is means that one transistor can uh, like hold two values zero one or one zero something like that okay or zero zero one one something like that and uh, now you can easily guess that what does a triple level cell means so triple level cell means that you will be able to store uh, three values or yes no three yes three no something like that okay three values uh, in one transistor or one cell okay so uh, this this is the things for these are the three main difference between uh, the single level cell multi-level cell and triple level cell you want to like remove this okay i mean erase this to discuss other parts of ssd sorry okay okay now come to the point that how we can make a full ssd from a just from a uh, what it is called a transistor or cell so let's say this is a transistor okay using lots of transistor we can store lots of values let's say this uh, this transistor is store one value this transistor another this transistor another this transistor another so using this uh, technique we can store lots of values right so if we add more transistor we can uh, store more values if we add more transistor we can store more values right so this is how a full ssd been created okay now uh, come to the point another point which is like this there are lots of transistor make a page okay these are these are the transistor and these all transistor make a page okay generally a page size is 4 kb so what does it mean by 4 kb 4 kb is something like that how many transistor we need make a page okay so we need about let's say 4 kb right 4 kb 4 into 1024 okay into 8 what does it mean uh let's say we know that one like uh a one byte equal to is 8 bit that means uh that means uh 8 bit that means 8 transistor can make 1 byte so there are that much bit we need to make a page so a single page store about this much of transistor I mean this much of transistor we need to make a single page uh, so exact amount is something like maybe if we multiply all this together maybe we will get something close to three two seven six eight okay so this much transistor transistor we need to make just a single page understand now there are lots of page let's say four page four page make a block so so from this uh, topic we understand new 
two new uh, important parts which is first one is page second one is block so we can say that page is made by transistor so actually we understand three uh, important topics one is transistor okay one is transistor second one is page third one is block so transistor make page and page make block okay so block size is generally 16 kb okay uh, sometimes it is it can be more okay so there are four page can make one page block right so four page can make one block okay that's it now i want to like erase this again because we have to understand more about ssd okay so that's fine now uh, sorry now come to the point the uh, main part uh, now we know the ssd structure and uh, now i want to uh, like to uh, understand that how actually we read from ssd and then we want to understand many more okay so first we want to understand how read operation work so most importantly remember uh, as we know that there are lots of page make let's say four page make one block and uh, many transistor make let's say many transistor make uh, uh, one page okay many transistor make one page so something like that lots of page make one block this these are the things we know so let's say when we read remember it is very important when we read let's say this is one page okay so when we read it will read the whole page no matter what how much below is there so you cannot read half of the page i mean let's say uh, this okay uh, i can give you a uh, good example for that let's say uh, this page is 4 kb okay this page is 4 kb so you store 2 kb value okay so you store 2 kb value in this page so let's say these are the value had been stored here so you want to read this file now so if you if you want to read this file what will happen like uh, a read operation will come here and it will read the whole page not this part because of this part is holding the value so if we can read only this part that is good enough right but no the read operation can't read the part of a page it will read the whole page you understand now okay that's it that's it for read okay so remember these things that page only read the page i mean the read operation only can read the whole page not the part of the page okay now now come to the right operations that how right operation actually work okay so i have to erase this again la, la, la. okay now it's fine so now uh come to the right operation right operation is uh, very similar to read like uh, it it have to do lots of things for write operation but uh, in in uh, in a sense of reading page uh, write operation is bit similar let's uh, see so what write operation do whenever you started to write it will go to the page and write in the whole page what it will do it will write in the whole page let's say you want uh, let's say this is a page this is one is a page and uh, uh, let's say you want to store 2 kb here so this page is 4 kb you want to store 2 kb here so you need only this portion right the write operation will never write in this portion only so it will take the whole page and no other write operation can't write in the in this page again let's say you want um, another write uh, you have another 2kb file you want to upload it so you can't upload it in this page because of this page had been written okay so you uh, though though you write only 2kb 
still you can't write another file in here still it has uh, some blank uh, place but you can't write so this is actually called write amplification so we understand now another important part which is write amplification write amplification it is very important amplification so for improving write amplification there are lots of paper had been published okay so this is called write ampli i mean write amplification and uh, there are lots of things like uh, uh, a page cannot be overwritten and erase are aligned with the block size so uh, i mean uh, there are lots of things need to be done okay now uh, let's remove it because of we will talk about many more things now so uh, i will talk about now erase and how the procedure of writing okay so i will talk about now the procedure of writing okay now we, we know uh, about how to write and what write operation do what read operation do but what is the process it is a very complex process now just let's try to understand this complex process a bit okay so what we can do we can just erase what we have right that's it okay okay to understand that okay let's say i'm going to make a block here so let's say this is a block this is a block and this address is let's say 1000 and this block has a page number i mean let's say page number is 0 1 2 and 3 okay so this uh, page holding some values let's say x y and z and this portion is blank so now i want to update the value of x what i want to do update the value of x this is actually data you can say data okay now i want to update the value of x what i need to do then okay so first so we can't uh, what we can't do we can't write directly in here because of this had been written so we need to update the value of x we need another page i mean another blank page so what will happen let's say we want to update the x so i am going to let's say create another one i mean the same one so this is actually the page number and i want to write zero one two three okay so x is here y is here and z is here now i want to update x so it will look for some blank page so this is another page which is blank so i i can uh, store the below here so this is x prime okay so it's write the x prime here and this will be uh, now uh, this part will be stale which is called stale or you can say this is now invalid okay invalid okay this is invalid now but x is still there the value is not deleted x is still there but this is not anymore valid so this is now valid so x had been updated in this part so this is not valid anymore okay now you can you see that the main problem the we cannot let's say we want to store another value okay so we can we can't write because of there is no space right there, there is no space here anymore because of this is full so the main problem here is now we have to delete this value so how can we delete this value we need a erase operations okay so for that erase operation what we can do that's the main thing so let's uh, try to understand the erase operation now so we know why uh, now we know why we need erase operation because of this value need to be deleted right because of this value is still here it is not being deleted it is invalid but still the value is here we can't write anything as we said that uh, pays only we able to return when it is free so we have to make it free so for make it free what we need to do 
that's uh, a little bit complex just uh, stay with me maybe i will try my level was to make it understandable okay so just erase all these things okay the eraser version something like this actually uh, erasing the things before we write again <laughs> that's like that's very funny right okay now uh, for erase operation let's say uh, the value had been written like uh, let's say this is one block for making erase operation we need two block okay so this block address was 1000 let's say this block address is 2000 okay so okay zero one two three so the written below was this was x y z and x prime right so this is now invalid invalid okay this one was a uh, page number and this one was data right and in here if you see uh, this pay block is blank let's say there is no value right page number and data so there is no data let's say zero one two and three there is no data right? okay so what erase operation do erase operation okay what it is a operation actually do this will copy it will copy the whole block this whole block into this one okay so as this is invalid this will not be copied okay remember it the process remember the process this block will be copied into it, into this one so whenever it will copy it it will come into y z and x but this x I mean x prime this x will not be copied because of this is invalid so we will uh, now this is free now this is free and what will happen it will delay the whole block it will delay the whole block so this block will be something like this now let's say this block will be now like this page number data zero one two and three so this is now free so uh, now again what it will do it will copy this block into second block and this will not be carried because of this is invalid and whole block will be delayed I mean all the data of this block will be deleted I mean removed and now if you see this block is I mean this is 1000 okay so this is now free we can write data in here even we can write data in this free page as well so this is how it is operation work now uh, i have already talked about uh, write amplification let's say what is wire leveling okay what is wire leveling so uh, it is it is another important part so i i will show it here that what is wire leveling let's say whenever you write you write in every pages right you write here you write here you write here you write here so when there will be lots of pages let's say uh, thousands of pages so you have to evenly write all the pages because of they have some life spam let's say uh, if I give you an example let's say uh, this is a page right you can modify this page 10 times okay and if you modify this page for 10 times this page will be invalid I mean you cannot write anymore in this page and this page will be dead let's say okay so every page have their lifetime so wire leveling is something while leveling is a procedure where when you start to write it will evenly distribute the write operation in all these pages all these pages let's say whenever you write into this page uh, let's say five times then it will never write into this as because of these are zero so it will start to write into this page then it will start to write into this page then it will start to write into this page so all this page will be dead together this is called uh, wire labeling okay so these are the uh, most important part of uh, flush SSD uh, so there is another part which is a flush translation layer 
so where actually most of the operation works like page mapping garbage collections so i will talk about that in a second video so that's it for today bye bye